When thinking about nuclear detonations, the mushroom cloud is often the first image people think of. Mushroom clouds are not exclusive to nuclear bombs. Any large explosion can form one. A volcanic eruption, an energetic meteor strike in the lower atmosphere like that with the Tunguska event. Large conventional explosives and accidents will also form mushroom clouds. Mushroom clouds have been depicted in paintings and drawings of war and disasters as far back as the 1700s. So, why do large explosions produce mushroom-shaped clouds? The answer is actually pretty straightforward. Buoyancy. When a large bomb goes off, it initially expands in a spherical shape creating a bubble of superheated air. In the case of a nuclear weapon, that bubble of superheated air is both very large and very, very hot. Within seconds, the pressure of the surrounding air halts the expansion. The fireball is now a bubble of superheated gas that is lighter than the air around it. So, like a bubble underwater, it begins to rise. An area of low pressure is created under the bubble, causing cool air to rise up into the bubble, turning it into a squashed convecting toroid. Think of it like a giant bubble ring looping in on itself, up through the middle and down the sides. As the gas cools, particulate matter and water condenses, forming a visible cloud. Dust and ash is pulled up through the column of cold air into the toroid, making it more visible, and creating the mushroom stem. The speed of convection slows as the cloud rises until it stops completely and fades away. Other factors can also impact the shape and formation of the mushroom cloud. A nuclear weapon detonated above but close to the ground will have its shockwave reflected up into the fireball, squishing and pushing it. A bomb detonated far enough above the ground where no contact is made, the cloud will still form a toroid that rises but with no stem, or a faint condensation stem. If detonated underwater but close to the surface, a column of water will be created, as well as a short-lived condensation cloud known as a Wilson cloud. As the column collapses, it can form a cauliflower shape, but this is not a mushroom cloud in the same sense as a ground detonation. So, there you have it. Mushroom clouds are created from an interplay of hot air rising and cool air rushing in to fill the low pressure space left behind. Thanks for watching.